Hello everybody, it's me, it's Margo, welcome back to Supernatural, we are here in episode 12. The last one was very cool, I liked it, and uh, yeah, it, it it was nice, it was a nice episode to come back into it, I think, because it wasn't too emotional, you know, um, there were a couple moments, but at the same time it was mostly just a Monster of the Week episode, um, kind of reminding me of season 1. Because there was no Bobby, there was no Cass, there was generally no angels. There was just a monster and they hunted it. And there were more than one hunter. But it was a cool episode, I, I, I liked it. It was a nice, uh, I don't know, reminder of how things were. But now we're probably gonna back, uh, we're gonna get back, what? We're gonna get thrown back into it. Jesus Christ, it's not that hard. Um, yeah, let's go, episode 12. Uh, emotional episode, I, 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 I predict it, but maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. Son of a... Okay. What? Wait, what? What the fuck just happened? Dana? What? What? What, a, what kind of a start is that? Well, when it went missing, it was a perfectly normal grad student named Charles Durbin. When it turned up, the thing was mummified, minus the wrapping. Look, after everything I've been through with you boys, and with, and with Bobby, you know, something like this pops up on the wire, it catches my ear. What can I say? Uh, we'll, we'll look into it. Thanks, Sheriff. I'm glad that she's still here, you know. I hope she's going to be in, yeah, more of a regular. Reading Dick Roman crap over and over again is just... Dick Roman. So it is... What? Wait. Okay, I'm it's really. Is his name Richard Roman, or is his name Dick Ronan, Roman, or do they just call him Dick? Because he's a dick. I'm so confused right now. Well, there's a semi-functioning bathroom and one unranced bedroom. <laughs> oh yeah. How's paper beat a rock? Stupid. <laughs> Kids playing hide and seek found the body. Wow, well, very King Tut. Yeah. So, uh. Is it a mummy? No, that wasn't a mummy. It was a time traveler or something like that, or, or, or something from a different reality universe. And some dude dressed like my grandpa's got him by the neck, right? What do you mean? Looks like your grandpa? Suit. One of those uh, Justin Timberlake hats. He aged before my eyes. He looked like a raisin. Why is he? Why is he talking like that? I, I, I think, I think the, the suits. Maybe, maybe, maybe they laughed at you because of the story. But how, how he told it, it was great. It, it was just funny, even though it was tragic. It was funny. Okay. A girl named Terry Cervantes found a corpse near her church. Any pattern here other than location? Random Vicks, random years, but they seem to drop in threes. I mean, go. I might be not not right, so off with time travel because it's still like a, there, an old guy. Strictly into kind of looked now. like it. Yeah. He has nice. Oh, the heads, man! That was fashion, man. That was great. These heads were amazing, but it's not modern anymore, so I can wear them anymore. I would. So Oh, there you go. I knew it. I just knew it. 444. I'm stuck in 1944? We're all stuck in 1944, you bunny. Tell me more about the red light. Are you seriously asking? You want out of this jail. You're going to tell me everything you can about that man. I know that guy. Why do I know that guy? You're a hunter. Just 68 years before me, huh? <laughs> cool. <laughs> That's amazing. Ness. Elliot Ness. Elliot Ness? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, wait. Am I supposed to know that? Fuck. Wait, did I forget? I, I think I missed something. You're coming with me. 
We gotta get this thing before it grabs the last one. Okay, so, so wait, uh, <clears throat> does, does this mean that I'm an untouchable now? It means we gotta get you into some new clothes. You look like <clears throat> some kind of bingle stiff. <laughs> He's, uh, from the future. Yeah. Gas costs four bucks. You can get cheese out of a spray can. Yeah. The president, he's a black guy. I could go on. Ain't me impressed. <laughs> I assume you need some clothes. <laughs> this is great. This is so cool. I think Bobby may have had a slight hoarding issue. I could barely get the door open in that storage locker. I, and um, I'm pretty sure something's alive in at least three of those boxes. <laughs> I love this. Oh, this is great. A great episode. Jesus Christ, I love this already. A bucket of syrup you two idiots step into. <laughs> Something funny, sweetheart? No, oh, you uh, just got to remind me of someone. Mm. Okay, Ezra, we need your help. It seems we're on a time traveler. Delightful. That's so cool. That's the symbol I saw on his ring. Yeah, but that's the mark of Kronos. Who? You got a time. It's crazy. Uh, the thing is, with the old gods, once upon a time, they were they were just short of invincible, but they got a lot of their mojo from worshippers, from people feeding them. Freaking hell. These days, not so much. Right. Mm -hmm. They're not what they used to be, but they make up for lack of power with being twice as pissed and a lot more hands-on. I mean, let's kill that bastard, because that is the Chicago way. Who talks like that? John <laughs> Connery. <laughs> oh, Dane. Because calling Kronos isn't the problem. It's making sure we summon him when Dean is right there. Literally with his hands on the guy so he can surf him back. That's not automatic? No, it's more like we need to get the time on there and right to the exact second. Or we get an angry god, but no big brother. And he's trapped there forever. I think I know what they're going to do. Or maybe, you know, they're from the past that are going to find out that they have to do this exact same thing. And they're going to leave a letter in the same house and they're going to find it that says the exact time when they're going to summon Kronos. And then he will be there and will that's what they're going to do, right? I mean, that's, 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 what I would, that's what I would do. It's totally risky, like, as, but it's the only way, right? Like, but the only problem is if they're really going to find out in the past then they have to leave the letter for them in the future to find. Oh, I love this. How are they going to do this, honestly? All right. The hell? You stick this end in his heart. Miss, he has you for supper. I kill Kronos. I'm stuck here? You just now realize 1944 ain't so bad. Yeah, you head over to Europe, punch Hitler in the neck. Oh, there's lots of ways to pass the time, sugar. <laughs> Back to the Future 3. Need to borrow some paper. I knew it. Finding a good, fighting a god. It's not that easy, I think. Special Agent Costner with the uh, Department of Homeland Termite Invasion. Termites? Yes, sir. There's been an outbreak all over this area, and I just want to do an inspection, make sure that the uh, perimeter is secure. <laughs> yeah, let's go. I mean, I hope he's going to find it then. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. Oh, that's brilliant. That's, that's really cool. I love that. November 5th, 44. So now we know the exact date. Dean had hands on Kronos. All we need is the exact time. Which we get how? Hoping we ask someone who was there. Miss Lila Taylor? <sighs> the night the clock stopped. The, the clocks stopped? 11.34. Every clock in the house. Well, that must be the time then. Ethan choked the life out of that man. So he's going to choke the life out of him, but he's going to escape back into present time with the weapon, and then he's going to kill him. 
right? I mean, that's what must happen. He can't be stuck in this time. Although that would be kind of kind of cool for a change, you know? That would be so different, so unexpected. Quiet. Jump scare incoming. In three, two, one. Oh my god, I'm so good. I'm so, I'm just I'm just the best. I'm I'm just I'm just the best. <laughs> I did really <laughs> Get him! Was that the best you got? <laughs> nice, Sam. I know your future. It's covered in thick black ooze. They're everywhere. Enjoy oblivion. Bye bye. More and more Leviathans are coming. Oh, that's it? Wow. That was nice. That was a really cool episode to calm down, to relax, fun, at the same time, like, so interesting and so well thought through. And I love the writing. I love the scenery. I love the music. Oh, my God. This was great. This was really cool. I, I love that. And that we saw, like, an, a god again because, like, monsters are too weak now. Now we're going to fight gods, you know? Now every god is there. Every single god. It's not Monster of the Week anymore, it's God of the Week. Okay, that's what we're gonna hunt now. Oh, that was cool. That was really cool. And I, you know, I love the, the similarities. Like, uh, this woman was kind of like Bobby, and uh, I was, it, was, it was really, really well done. And that we had Jody in this episode again was amazing. Uh, I really appreciated that. You know, there's so many characters dying. I just want to see some familiar faces again, you know, with all these people just going and dying and <sighs> not much left. So it was cool that Jody was there. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And uh, yeah, see you in the next episode. Goodbye.